A lot of fly tires shy away from tying bass bugs and specifically the Dahlberg diver because it takes so long. But you can actually get one done in about uh, 10 minutes. So let's get started. In my vise, I have a size two hook and it's a standard length. I got this one from a raffle. It's uh, nickel plated and a straight eye. A lot of people don't like the straight eye, but I haven't seen it makes a big difference in fishing. So starter thread at the point of the hook on the hook shank. We'll wrap that back to the bend and then we're going to get some uh, marabou. So take a single quill of marabou and you want it to be the length of the hook shank. Now this provides this undulation in the water as you strip it. It's very lifelike, a very smooth action uh, material. After you get that on there, we're going to put a little bit of flash and flank the marabou. Now this is a pearl flash and it's of the midge size. I like the midge size because it really flows in the water with the marabou. And then we'll cup it at different lengths here. And then we'll put it on the other side. There we go. We'll turn that as well, kind of different lengths so it looks a little more natural. Now take two hen hackles of the same length and size and we're, we're going to put those on the hook shank with the pretty side face on the hook shank and then we'll get that little V and these will go together as you strip it through the water. Beautiful action on these. So we'll strip all the fluff off and we want to make these the length of the marabou. So we're going to strip everything off back to there. And hold that in place. Now you don't want it to spin and you want it to be on the side. So I like doing one at a time just to make sure I get what this guy is supposed to do. Let's see. More. There, I like that better. All right. And we'll get that. Yeah, that looks much better. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take some cactus chenille. This is yellow. It actually is a... Uh, we'll tie that in. back behind there so we'll clip that off. We're going to take some yellow deer hair and I don't have the best deer hair so I'm, it uh, doesn't spin all that well but that's all I have so take a clump of deer hair and about oh this one's a pretty thick piece so it's about um, eighth of an inch and then take your uh, mustache comb or your barber comb. Now you want to put these in a stacker. We're going to make a collar. So the points of these need to be all aligned. Now we just want our collar on the top and we want it to come right back to the bend of the hook like that. It'll make the whole fly uh, uniform. It's just a good effect. Now we'll make two wraps. Now hang on to it tight. We want it to flare, but we don't want it to spin. And make some good wraps on that. And then take a piece of painter's tape. Now use the painter's tape, not masking tape. My skin tape is too sticky and it'll pull all of our deer hair apart. So we're going to just do that so that when we trim it, we'll still have our collar. So we'll pull everything back. And I got a piece of flash bugging me here. What's going on there? Okay. Take another section of deer hair, about the same diameter, a couple millimeters. Now this one we don't have to uh, stack, but you want to make sure you comb out 
pull that under for it really helps so it spins. Pull everything back, lay this guy midway across the hook shank there at a 45 or so. Make a couple wraps, let go of it, and then let it spin around the hook shank. Boy, this one is not spinning as well as I'd like. Okay. Hmm. Could really use some better deer hair. And then we'll do another. Okay. Now we're going to put in a red to simulate gills. This will also allow us to separate uh, the, we'll call it an airfoil, of the Dahlberg diver. Now we're going to make our head and and then we want to cut off the red but not the yellow behind it. And now an eighth of an inch above that, we're just going to work, trim off the portion that causes it to dive. Then we can take off our tape now and then you can see the See the color, so it makes a nice uniform fly. We have the profile there that gives it that sinking motion. Okay, now you can spend a few minutes and clean it up. But we'll just then we're going to take some eyes, so take some UV glue and we'll just put a spot just above the hook shank on our fly. Okay, there we have one Dahlberg diver. Nice looking fly.